Yeah, this is a street where in season one, episode nine, when Dorothy was walking down the street with Jericho in a stroller. We've come back to Spruce Street at night. We're introduced to Aunt Josephine in the final episode of season two. Episode 10 opens up with Leanne holding the Reborn doll and she sees Aunt Josephine outside. This is a street Aunt Josephine is walking down. This is a shot where Uncle George was standing at the end of season one, episode six, rain. But Leanne looks out the window and sees Uncle George standing across the street right at the end of the episode. In this shot, you can see the street where Roscoe returns in season two, episode two, Spaceman. We see Roscoe waking up in the car. He doesn't seem to have any concept of time, believing the baptism party was the night before. They filmed right here because we can see the tree. There's no car, but the tree. In season one, episode six, Rain, it closes with Sean returning home and checking on Dorothy. Dorothy tells Sean she's booked a church on Samson. Three weeks from Sunday, keep it free. Why? Because I just booked the little church on Samson. So we're going to see if we can find that church. What church is this? Oh, First Presbyterian. Not the church where Jericho was baptized, I don't think. Where are you, Bill? Howdy. So we are walking to the end of the street. So at the end of the corner, end of the block here, there is a, yeah, there's a church. I think you're just tripping. She, I think you're mentioning that church on Samson with the baptism, but I don't think this is the church. It was hard determining which church they used to film the baptism. There is a church called Resurrection located on Sansom Street. And wouldn't that be fitting as resur Resurrection is a recurring theme in Servant? But I don't think this is the church where the scene of the baptism was filmed. Make a right turn on Locust Street. Drop off the lake. Now we are here at St. Mark's Church. This is an Episcopal church. The building was constructed between 1847 and 1849 in the Gothic Revival style. One of the most memorable scenes was in the season one finale where Sean is narrating. There are several conflicting theories regarding the disposal of your child's placenta, religious, superstitious and medicinal. It was the day of Jericho's baptism. Natalie and Julian arrived together as everyone gathers in the living room. They watch the baptism take place on TV. We see Dorothy and her father Frank greeting guests outside of the church. Notice the windows on the church. They match up. There's also the same building across the street and those same buildings where Uncle George and Aunt May were standing. We may go inside and light a candle for Jericho.
So we're here at Vitri Cochina, and uh, this is an old historic townhouse in uh, Philadelphia. Down in, is, are we still in Renton House? Renton House no, Square. It's on Spruce Street. It is on Spruce Street, which is cool, which is super cool. And if you guys don't know, Mark Vitri is the chef that did all the um, food scenes and the cooking in season one of Servant. So he's part of the crew, part of the Servant crew. So. We're fans already. And this is M. Night Shyamalan's favorite restaurant, right? This is M. Night Shyamalan's favorite restaurant. Italian. Or so he said. Are either of you from Philly? No. no. We're it's from the Arizona. First time here. We're from Arizona. We live in Arizona. Oh. Yeah. And uh, actually, we do a, a YouTube review, chan uh, review channel of that in Night Shyamalan show servant. Yeah. So he said this was his favorite restaurant. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. we showed up to like look at the locations and film them okay. on all that for our little channel. And then we had to come here too. Yeah. He, he dines here occasionally. Um, but mainly he sends his private chef. <laughs> um, what? Yeah, what which is interesting because uh, the gentleman, I don't know if it's for me, yeah, his name, but the, it's a gentleman that I've actually worked for at another restaurant uh -huh. uh, in the area. So he'll send him in uh, maybe like two or three times a year, just kind of like check it out and see what's going on. Maybe go back with some more does recipes. He, does he eat and uh, yeah, yeah, evaluate yeah. stuff? He comes in for dinner. Oh, he yeah. probably replicates them. Yeah, he comes in for dinner and then uh, he goes home and reports to M. Night. Huh. <laughs> okay, so for the lady. Uh, she's going to start with the Dungeness Crab Budino, or the pasta, the Scala Delini. Okay. For the Secundi, the roasted baby goat. And for dessert, she'll do the molten pistachio cake. Okay, so for me, I'll start with the lamb carne salada, saffron gimellini with the short rib. And then I'm going to do your suggestion with the, the New York steak as Medium rares, though, they'll do it. For dessert, I'm gonna do the cheesecake with the pineapple. I felt stupid not being able to pronounce it. Really? Yeah, that was not very classy. I should have studied the, their menu, learned how to say stuff. That's insane. I can do it without that Popeye thing. Yeah. With that crab, oh my god. Yummers! That is actually delicious. If I was to tell people to come here, I'd say, okay, order the Dungeness crab. The beef. Yes. The focaccia bread. 